Welcome to the Horror Movie Showdown, episode 69. This episode is the perfect opportunity for reviewing another one of those steaming hot yellow movies. It is Bloody Moon. A movie about a horribly disfigured man killing girls at a language school. When he looks at his sister like that, you know that this movie will be creepy. Miguel, I'm your sister. Don't look at me that way. Go back to the dance. So the movie starts out with this funky language school party where our killer sneaks around wearing a Mickey Mouse mask, which apparently is a huge hit with the girls. Four minutes into the movie and we already have suggestions of incest, a public sex scene and some naughty role play. So I have a feeling this is gonna be an interesting movie. Wow, that just turned dark really quick. We jump five years forward and Miguel has just been released from the mental asylum. Your brother needs to feel an atmosphere of love, warmth and security and so it's all up to you. And his sister is now supposed to take care of him. It seems that whenever Miguel sees a cute girl, it all clicks. <gasps> Miguel, you didn't kill her, did you? Why do you keep on gaping at me like that? What am I, Frankenstein's daughter? Ah, this time it was just a fake scare. Maybe Miguel has been cured. The movie also has some plot about an old lady who owns the school and won't let her niece inherit her money. But that plot quickly goes up in flames. So the language school is only attended by highly attractive girls, which makes me regret that I didn't go to language school when I was younger. And the girls sure sound sexy when they are talking about apples. Donlas manzanas de la señora Ortega. Seriously, why didn't I go to language school? It looks like paradise. And that is the thing about Jello movies. They usually have beautiful girls, a beautiful cinematography and tons of bloody kills. So it turns out that Miguel and his sister are actually lovers. But who cares, as it is time for some more parching and a perfect opportunity for some more kills. That is what we are here for after all. But before we get to that, we have to investigate some more apples. But now we'll get to the kills. Mm. Damn it, stop disturbing the killer! It's me, Ava! But when we finally get our kill, it is totally worth it. Let's get to the scores before this movie gets to our heads. But I saw her lying there. Detective stories really go to your head, huh? She'd been stabbed in the breast, it was horrible. Dream about me instead, Angela. You'll sleep better. The movie has 9 excellent and fun kills, including one of the most brutal kills of all time, and also one of the most controversial, though it doesn't quite beat the baby eater scene from Anthropophages. The movie is definitely naughty as it has more than its share of topless scenes. It gets a nudity score of 6. Despite the movie's many killer point of view shots, it is more funky than scary. It gets a scariness score of 2. To watch this movie you have to be headstrong, as it is brutal, but I had fun with it. The excellent kills and the pretty girls is enough for an overall score of 5. That's all, thank you for watching and I will catch you later.